But while we sit at record levels on the Dow, there are growing divergences on Wall Street from strategist opinions to where the money is actually going. The splits on the street are starting now to become very pronounced, very obvious. Bob Pisani takes a look. The markets continue to climb to new heights, but there's a series of divergences occurring that could give investors pause for the month of August. First, a notable divergence between the Dow Industrials, which were up 3% in July, and the transports, they were down 4% in July. This is after the transport hit new highs. So these stocks are lower across the board, whether we're talking about planes, trains, or automobiles. What's going on? Well, you can only stretch a rubber band so far. For the transports, there's some disappointment about the Trump agenda mixed in with better opportunities overseas. There's also lower business from key sectors like retails, autos, and oil that the transports depend on. Throw in some issues around pricing, and you've got reasons for a divergence. Now, under Dow theory, remember, when the transports significantly stray from the industrials after hitting new highs, it's considered a negative for the markets. But there's bigger issues. The major indices are at new highs, and strategists are split over the direction of the markets for August. The bulls are touting strong corporate earnings, that's true, low interest rates, and a synchronized global recovery as reasons for the rally to roll on. But the bears are concerned about rising stock prices, record low volatility, and central banks that could rein in stimulus. There's even a growing divide over exactly where the money is going. So, for example, exchange-traded funds, or ETFs, have now dropped $3 trillion in assets after seeing huge inflows last month. In fact, ETFs held $1 trillion more than hedge funds for the first time ever. That means lower cost ETFs are winning out over pricier rivals. Passive indexing, better than ever. For Nightly Business Report, I'm Bob Pisani at the New York Stock Exchange.